Hey everybody, I had a question about how to work with Hindenburg and Isotope RX because Hindenburg doesn't have a way to natively work with RX and the question was whether to use RX Connect. With Hindenburg, there's a better way of working with the two programs. Right here, we've got a little bit of a pop. 25. Let's say we wanted to remove that in Rx. The first thing we do, since we've made edits to this audio already, the timestamps aren't going to line up. So we need to be able to find this particular place quickly in Rx. What I'll do is I'll make a cut right here, open up properties, and we're looking for right here, the start offset. This tells me that this edit starts at 1 hour, 9 minute, 7 seconds, and 23 frames, milliseconds. I'm not sure what that last number is. But if we go to 1 hour, 9 minutes, 7 seconds in Rx, we'll get really close. So here we are in Rx. We've got the file opened up. We want 1 hour, 9 minutes. Zoom in. There's one hour, nine minutes, seven seconds. So that pop should be right here. Let me center that a little bit better. 25, 20. Let's go back to Hindenburg. Make sure we've got the right spot. 25, 20. Okay, so we can... We've verified that that's the same spot. Okay, so now we did an instant process. 25, 25, 26. It's not perfect, but you can tell we removed that. So now what we'll do is we'll, let's save this as, and we'll give it a name. We'll call this Rx, so we know we've Rx'd this. Now that that file has been saved, we go back into Rx. We'll pick the region, go back to the properties, and here we've got the file name and we've got the three dots. We click that, we can now link a new audio file to this piece of audio, or to this region. So we click that for the Rx file, hit OK, and you can see that that click is now gone. So that's how you would work with the two once you've already started editing, because maybe you're editing and there's some noise that you didn't catch beforehand, something you want to you need to go into the Rx editor to manually cut out. That's how you would do it. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you next time.